how you can make discoveries in the actor-based false reality. So I'm going to try to walk you through a process that may help you make discoveries. Now the one that I'm uh, referring to in particular here are my uh, vids on George Armstrong Custer. Now, originally I did this video here George Armstrong Custer was a fake and Little Bighorn never happened. Well it got partially blocked or par maybe totally blocked but it did not appear in my uh, channel at all here in the United States so I thought oh my gosh I gotta redo it so I redid it with this one called George Armstrong Custer the last stand does not stand my test now how did I get to this point how do you uh, deal with the actor based reality system or the hoax lie system and make discoveries. Well first of all it starts with an interest. Okay now I have a lot of videos around my home residence and the video in particular that I was interested in making a video about would be the Indian Wars. So I have a copy of this uh, the Indian Wars five-part documentary and I decided to watch it all five parts and as I watched it I took a few notes but I'm watching the videos for clues and things that would sort of pop up at me and I could make some discoveries so of course one of the most famous events in the uh, hoax Indian Wars is none other than George Armstrong Custer because almost everybody knows about Custer's last stand and how the American Indians surrounded them and killed every last one of them. And so George Armstrong Custer was annihilated in 1876 at the battle we know as Little Big Horn. So that sent me on a pursuit of learning more about this hoax character on the stage of false reality history named George Armstrong Custer. Now that's a movie that uh, I tried to use in my video, my original video, that was probably blocked but if you watch this clip from this movie, the full Western movie, Custer of the West, full Western movie, uh, it shows him with his men very bravely just shooting away at Indians as the Indians came and shot away at Custer and all his crew to conclude this two hour plus movie. But the better in more informative uh, narrative that helped me was this one Custer's Last Stand documentary on the life and death of General Custer and there were many clues in this so-called documentary but this was the biggest clue of all they came right out at me and screamed at me as I watch this and the narrator will just calmly say that George Armstrong Custer had a very best friend and the very best friend that he had was a Shakespearean actor 
Aha, now you've got something. They're telling you that this actor played George Armstrong Custer. So all of this is occurring in my mind. Okay, I think you've got them. Let's see if we can nail them. So then I, you know me, if you watch my videos, I like to pick Triev. And the pick Triev will show Custer on the left and Barrett on the right. 72% match. Now one of the other things that I tend to look for is like the nose, the mouth, sometimes the ears. But it's hard to get too close on the ears. Or just a general impression. So the general impression of this is take a look at the hair on, the, on this side. My right would be their left. Take a look at the hair over here on Barrett. Lawrence Barrett. And take a look at the hair over here on supposedly General George Custer. <laughs> it's almost a perfect match, just the hair. So this is an early photo of Custer here on the left. And obviously that's right when he's getting started in his hoax image that he's presenting on the stage of actor-based reality. And then if you just look generally speaking at it and forget the meter and just say well, what about the eyebrows? The eyebrows look pretty close. What about the nose? In my view the nose looks almost absolutely perfectly identical. And then of course the mouth looks pretty good too. And so just my own eyes can tell me it's the same individual. So now I have pretty much the proof that, yes, it's the same. Next step. I always like to look at dates, okay? And by that, I usually mean the framework of, generally speaking, uh, the individual that's in hoax history and then the individual that plays them. So if we look carefully here on the dates for Custer, we will see that his birth date is 18, 1839. Okay, 1839. So then I jump and say, well, what about Lawrence Barrett? What's the birthday of Lawrence Barrett? birth year. And I'm not too worried about the actual day. Sometimes there's a pun on the, on the day that they're born. Take a look. 1838. Now the date of death doesn't matter because this actor, this Shakespearean actor, will die in 1891. But the character of George Custer dies where? At Little Bighorn, 1876. So as far as Barrett is concerned, he's basically done on the stage of hoax history with this character, George Custer. And he, meaning Barrett, can continue his life on the stage playing Shakespearean plays. Or perhaps Barrett will play another role in hoax history and take on another persona in hoax history. Because when they're good, they're good. And they, they recycle them and sometimes they'll use them in multiple roles at the same time if they're really good. An example of that would be the one we know is Abraham Lincoln. This Lincoln will play Jefferson Davis. 
He also plays John Brown. Um, there's another one that he plays. I forget which one it is. But anyhow, uh, you can take the same actor and put them in multiple roles, possibly even at the same time. So, there you have it. And there is how I nailed Lawrence Barrett. And you can actually just see this almost immediately by looking at the little photos here on Wikipedia. Lawrence Barrett playing George Carson, or <laughs> George Carson, George Custer. Barrett and Guster Guster and Barrett okay and then once you do that you've got as hoax liar Paul Harvey used to say the rest of the story. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to encourage you to give it a try especially if you have some type of suspicion. Your mind will want to dismiss it but I'm telling you you need to pursue it and if you pursue it you just might be surprised what you discover. Thank you for watching and a video.